Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've completed my next seven cards on my 30 day challenge, which is hashtag 30 cards in 30 days 22. Uh, if you want to see all the cards I've done so far, if you put that hashtag into Instagram, you will see them. Feel free to add any photographs of cards that you've done yourself as well. Uh, and yeah, so I'm having great fun doing this and I'm actually keeping up to date as well. I think there will only be one more after this one rather than doing 28 and then doing another one at 30 um i may just do one at 30 so that you've got the uh, last few cards there um but that will be the giveaway winner as well what i'll do on that day once i've completed the barrets because that is card number 30 then i will put everybody's names i've decided rather than trying a spinny wheel because quite some people have answered quite a few times i'm going to print out on them um, my printer, uh, everybody's name and how many times that they've commented on the cards on Instagram or they've commented on um, YouTube on the videos that I've put the cards on. Um, then I will uh, print them all out, put them all into a cup and draw it, you know, videoed so you will see it as it comes. So fingers crossed for everybody for that. So that will be probably just after the 30th of June. Um, this one, again, it is a little bit late getting filmed, but uh, life just gets in the way. What can I say? But I am doing one a day, which is wonderful because the last few times that uh, I've been trying to do challenges, um, I hope he's ended up in hospital. <laughs> so I was a bit iffy about doing this one. Like, oh, no. Um, but yeah fingers crossed he is doing well and we are okay uh, and the leukemia is under control at the moment so that's wonderful so yeah uh, we are quite up to date on our cards they are all from craft buddy crystal art they are my favorite cards that i do um they are a higher price point than the other cards that you can get but then they are the in my opinion the best quality that you can get as well the cards are blank inside, which makes them versatile for any occasion that you want to put them on. They come with a nice envelope. They're a really good quality card. I think this is more than a 300 GSM card. I have asked Craft Buddy. Um, I didn't get a reply, actually, so I must ask them again what the GSM of the cards is. Uh, and at the moment, they are getting licensed eightwork. Licensed eightwork? Licensed artwork. <laughs> And if you watch this space next week from the 27th, or is it the 29th? I think it's from the 29th of June um, on Create and Craft TV. That's a TV shopping channel. Um, they are actually launching the new Christmas one. So I believe there's new eight new Christmas cards coming out. And they are going to be doing licensed Star Wars as well. And I have had a sneak peek. Um, of a couple of the Star Wars ones so yeah I have seen them but yeah so and don't forget as well uh, on the 30th of June the 15% off will end as well so if you're wanting any of the new products that are coming onto the website they have just launched a new fantastic all crystal canvas set of canvases they've got um, an owl and a butterfly and a beautiful uh, kitchen one that's all lemons and things And then there's another one that's all autumnal colours and they're all full crystal uh, and again pre-framed because uh, Craft Buddy do do their canvases onto a stretched wooden frame so you don't have to go hunting around looking for photograph frames for them which is another bonus. So yeah you can get 15% off the new things as well which is brilliant and um, it's Scotty15 I'll put a link uh, down below for that as well but it will end on the 30th of June and um, I was cheeky and I did ask to have a discount for uh, my followers for my viewers and um, while I was doing this because I am promoting their company after all it's not an affiliate link so I don't get anything for doing it albeit I may be putting an order in to get 15% off <laughs> I may have quite a few things in my basket ready <laughs> Okay, so yeah, uh, I think that's the housekeeping out of the way as it were. So let's have a quick look at these cards and then we'll put some of these uh, drills away. Again, I will just put the special drills away because just your resin drills 
um, will just go into my normal storage. The uh, crystals are a little bit more fun to put away, aren't they? <laughs> so we have this lovely unicorn. I'm not sure whether this one was an Anne Stokes or not. They are all licensed artwork, as I say, from Craft But This unicorn, actually, I changed him slightly because he did have a brown chin. They'd put like a... a beige brown around the chin area and I didn't like it when I put it on I thought no I'm not keen on that so I took the brownie beige out and I just swapped it for some darker grey colours so it just looks consistent really um, and then we have got the AB I don't know if you can see the little sparkly white AB crystals so that was really pretty it really sparkles and lovely for anybody really i mean little girls but certainly yeah grown up girls as well a little bit more grown up one i think that one that unicorn but very very pretty and the artwork stunning okay then we've got our wonderful olaf and i do think well is this a christmas one but i mean he's going through like autumn leaves isn't he and um, i believe this one must be frozen too is it because I don't remember um, this scene in Frozen 1. I've not seen Frozen 2, so you'll have to let me know. Uh, but yeah, it looks like he's having great fun going through the leaves. I don't believe there was any... Oh no, there is ABs, yeah. He has got ABs. I was just saying there's no ABs, but I'm they're watching them sparkle at me. You can see them, yeah. This, you can just see the difference in the whites there. So he's got sparkly white AB crystals in him as well. Now, any of the cards that I did end up with two of them, um, because when these this set came out, it was a set of 15, um, five of the small ones, five of this size and five of the larger ones. I did, I already had one of each because I just like to collect really. <laughs> and then when the set came on, I thought, wow, that's a really good price. And as of this morning, when I looked, this set is still in the going, going, gone section on Craft Buddy. Um, so you can get it at a reduced rate as well <clears throat> excuse me to get the full set of 15 but what I did I thought well if while I'm doing one I might as well do the two and this is just so pretty the colours in it are lovely um, and I got really good reaction when I put this one on like Facebook and Instagram people really liked this and you can see look at all those crystals on those flowers I like what we used to call everlasting flowers whereby if you hang them upside down and they dry out and then you put them in flower arrangements and things like real close um little petals on the flower and when they dry out they just look really really pretty that's what they remind me of anyway so yeah i don't know about the shading on the jug um i don't know i wasn't quite as enamored on the shaving shaving <laughs> shading on the jug um as i have been on other things uh that one actually that what pat came with different colors of uh, this uh, color there it had different colors in the bag which i didn't realize until i'd actually got them on but anyway i've left it for now i mean pottery can be different colors can't it uh, this is gorgeous and i think any little girl would love this one and it's a mixture of your special drills. Look on your flowers. Look at the AB coating. Uh, AB is Aurora Borealis. Uh, and it's like an iridescent coating that they put over the top of the crystals. And it just gives them that shimmery shine extra. And then in the tail of this unicorn, we have got some crystal gems as well. Um, in fact, I think, is that all crystal? Yeah, we've got two shades of crystal gems in this tail. And then the rest of him. Oh, but he's just so pretty. Oh, she's just so pretty. I'm not sure whether it's a boy or a girl. Your unicorn, you can make up your own mind on that one. And then these beautiful tricolour roses going round. Aren't they gorgeous? Really love that one. The colour palette on that is super. Really nice. So, yeah. And again, you can buy the little frames from Craft Buddy uh, for these pictures so if you're wanting to frame them put them on a wall and have them actually as a picture rather than a card you can do but they're just wonderful of them uh then we're on to our Mar marvel which is incredible hulk and yeah it looks like he's burst out of his shirt and uh, his trousers are clinging on for dear life so yeah and i've just noticed i've missed some down here look 
Is it just me that does that? Or do other people suddenly do a canvas and then look at it and think, oh, I've forgotten to do that colour down there. <laughs> oh, dear. It's because I've been doing these uh, on an evening after tea. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I've uh, missed that one. I think the others are all okay. Uh, right, I do make sure that I look over them before I send them to people as well. Oh dear. Uh, and then this one is so pretty. Look at that a lovely little butterfly with the little, like, I don't know, what would you call this? They're a little like apple blossomy type uh, flowers, aren't they? They've got an AB in the centre, I believe, and then an AB on the butterfly wings around there. And I just think that is so pretty. So that's our butterfly. And then finally, we've got Thor with his big hammer. <laughs> and yeah, I just love the fact that they've put all crystals around the edges. So as he's banging down his uh, hammer or mallet or whatever it is, I think it's a hammer, isn't it? They call it in Thor. Um, we've got all the like lightning strikes coming out from him. And uh, yeah, gives it a real powerful effect, that one, like that one. Oh, I can hear hubby laughing. He must be uh, watching TikTok or something again. <laughs> okay, so let's get some of these uh, crystals put away. So we'll do them. Um, well, we'll do the two Marvel ones last. So I'll just put those on the side because we'll need the little card for those. These all have their own little packets. So these are a little bit easier to do. Okay, so I'll we'll put those. I'll need the little uh, sheet for that one as well. If you get the Craft Buddy um, packs, then rather than getting like your um, hanging card with... Oh, there's no DMC codes on that one. Oh, right, that one must be an old one then. They've only in the last sort of year started putting the DMC codes on the back of the cards. So we'll have a look at that. But I think this, the unicorn only had the white. So I know what the white one is. And I have got my little thing. For if that. you buy the packs, like this is, say, was a pack of 15. So if you're wanting to see what uh, gem number was on a certain number on your card, then if you look on the back of the card, it has a unique uh, code number there. Okay, and then that code number will relate to one of these on here. So that one is B1. So that's B1 there. So that uh, is that code there for that card. So those gem numbers there relate to the gems that we used on this card. So, and then, okay, and then the marvel ones the set of oh it was a set of six i do apologize not a set of five um again the same the code number is on the back of the card and then you just look up whichever one it is this is a little bit easier because it's got the picture next to it as well i do like pictures <laughs> i can see the pictures with my eyes i just tend to find that it's numbers that my eyes don't focus on properly right let's get the box number one out and this is all my special shape gems and my craft buddy crystal gems in this side. I have got a separate box for just the round crystal gems, uh, just the coloured round crystal gems. So, yeah, we'll have a look in this box and see what we can put away. Okay, so I've got my tray ready as well because you know what I'm like for spilling. Right, so Unicorn didn't have any DMC numbers. Yeah, you can see, look, this is just A2. Um, I think the canvases had the DMC numbers on them, uh, but unfortunately the cards didn't. But then they did decide to start putting code numbers and DMC numbers on the cards. This is part of a set that I don't know if this was last year. I think this was year before. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I have done all these. I have had every single one of these cards and done every single one of these cards. <laughs> Uh, oops, just give you a quick sneak peek. We've done the tiger this time round. Um, we've not done, no, we've not done any of those. Uh, we've not done any of those, but uh, I think I more or less have got one of each. I did make that one into uh, my granddaughter's birthday card because she loves sloths. Okay, 
uh yeah they are cute i just uh, added some embellishments to that one okay so we don't need that tent card then that one can go in recycling okay and let's have a look at these gems all right we'll put the card back in its bag i've numbered them all look how organized i've been i've numbered them all as to which day i did them on as well <laughs> I knew those sticky numbers would come in handy for something. Right, so these are just all plain resin gems. Uh, they are resin that Craft Buddy do. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, right, I haven't got the uh, AB crystals in here, the uh, AB whites in here. So I must have taken them out already, possibly used them on something else. I think I may have incorporated them into Olaf. So all of those gems, I could, if I wanted to, sit and try and find the DMC codes and match them all up. But to be honest, um, I do have quite a few spares of each colour, um, and particularly greys and browns. So I'm going to put those into my little charity stash. And when I've got so many of these drills, um, I just then send them to one of the charities that I know do diamond paintings and can use the spare drills. So they will go into there. Have I got something to put them in? No, I'll just pop them there for now and hope I don't knock them off the desk. So that was a quick and easy card to do. That one's number one done. Okay, let's have a look at Olaf. I seem to have a distinct lack of space this morning. What's going on? Has my desk shrunk overnight? Has the heat made it just contracting? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I do believe he just had them. Oh, no, we did have the little sparkly magenta gem there as well. Okay. I did think about doing his nose in ABs. I still may take this carroty nose and make it AB so it stands out. But maybe he doesn't want his nose to stand out. <laughs> All right, so let's look at these. Okay. Right, so that's sparkly number one. It's like a magenta hot pink. Okay, and then we've got that, that one. Um, I didn't use. I think uh, the machine must have got a little bit muddled up because it's got two different colours in there. So I used some colours I actually colour matched from uh, the colours that I had and used that rather than using those. Okay. I'll put those in there. I probably won't put those away. I'll maybe donate those into the charity um, bag that I have as well because they can maybe you know use the different colours if they're making pictures up and things uh, and make use of those. Um, that's another pinky colour. And then have I got no? I've not got the white. I must have taken the white AB out. It's a long time ago. It's a week ago since I did these. I can't remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's all your different resin colors so i will put those back into here for now because i do want to then put these into my gems because i have got the dmc codes on the back of this card to tell me what they all are so they have dmc codes at the beginning and then at the end any with an a at the front is an a b and ah right there wasn't ABs on Olaf, but I used the ABs, that's what I did, from the unicorn and put them onto Olaf, just scattered them about a bit, I mixed them in. So that's why you can't see any of those. I do have remembered what I did now. <laughs> and then any that have got a zero at the front tend to be the crystals, and that's the crystal number, and that's the number that I'm going to put them into my bags as right. So... Let me just put those into there so that I know they're Olaf. Don't want to get them all muddled up. Okay, and we have then uh, I is 63. So I, that one's I. So is that one J? Yeah, what I'm doing when I work through uh, the little, you know, the packets, the long like snake packets, I cut them off and then I just cut off um, the part that has the letter on it and the this one has the packet number on it as well and put them in with the crystals so i know which letter it is so we need to be looking for number 63 for starters 
So have we already got a number 63? Let's have a look. Pull these forward a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, there are 80s, there are 70s, that's 40s, 40, oh, 40 to 70. So no, we don't have number 63 or number 65. So that's two new colours. Okay, so I want my little circles. So these are my labels from Add More Zest. And... They're just little pre-cut ones. You can use any stickers you like, but I like these because they've got little diamonds on them, look. And I always leave a link to uh, Add More Zest, Rebecca, Rebecca's channel down below. So if you are wanting to get some of these yourself, you can do. But I just think the little diamonds are really cute. So we want, um, oh, we'll use these two here. And, oh, 63 and an, oh, 65. Okay. I just like having a number on things so that when I'm de-kitting, when I'm putting things away, it's organised so that I've got them um, in little bags with the letter on. It just makes it so much easier rather than having to think, well, where am I going to put that and what am I going to do with that if you've got a number. And I am on a mission to get all my crystal gems into number order as well. So I, I am going to be doing um, a few crystal canvases over the next few weeks uh, so that I can get the crystals done and then I've got the DMC numbers for the crystals to work all those out as well. So that could be quite a labour of love, but we will see how we go on that. Um, yeah, the only thing is at the moment, I've got my owl crystal canvas to do uh, and I've got my flower crystal canvas to do and I can't find the drills. No, I can't find the drills for the owl and I can't find the canvas for the flower. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm, I'm organising. I'm basically, what I'm trying to do is completely empty out my craft room so that then I can put everything back in, in a nice order. And anything that doesn't fit will be going. So watch this space. I do think I'm going to have to do um, some little de-stashing or some giveaways or something. So I haven't quite decided yet, but I will be doing something because... This room just ain't big enough to keep everything in. And when I sort of stepped away from my card making, um, well, selling my cards and doing it on a massive scale, then uh, I did decide that I was turning my craft room back into a bedroom. And now you can't see the bed, so you wouldn't know it was a bedroom. <laughs> so, yeah, I need to work on some things. Right, so there's quite a few crystals in these. So we'll put these cards back in the packets. It's always worth just keeping them in the little uh, poly bags that they come in or the cello bags that they come in. Um, oops, right. Just keeps them dust free. I tend not to seal cards because I find that the sticky is good enough for somebody. Um, I've not had anybody who's had a card and had it up for a birthday or whatever say oh the drills fell off um, the only thing is if you're giving it say you're giving the unicorn to a child I would probably seal this one before I sent it um, because children do tend to pick things off and do touch things a lot and you want it to last as long as possible so. okay right so on this one then oh goodness we've got one two three four standard gems and then all the others all the other eight are either crystals or special drills so oh i think they're all crystals actually i don't think there was any special shapes in this one and because i did the two together i found that i didn't need to open that's how many spares you get look i didn't need to open any of those packets because the one pack uh for one card did both cards so that was really good. So I've got a lot of extras there. Okay, so let's take out these, the resin ones for starters. And we'll take out the little packets of the crystals and we'll get these put away. I wonder if we'll get any extras of these then. Any different ones. So one, two, three, four. And that was again another packet that we didn't need to open. So they will go into the resin drills. My standard round storage. Okay. Right. So 
so let's have a look at these Ooh, this is going to be interesting right see if we can match these up so that's l k that j so if we put them all in this order first then we know what we've got we've got f there oh i'm going from the wrong way they always go right to left on these snakes of gems and i always feel like they ought to go the other way i always want to start at this end but they always go that way maybe it's just me <laughs> yeah, that's e that's h that's g and that is i right so let's start so first of off, first off, we have um, this one, which is the number five. Um, that is seventy-one. Uh, oh, that was. Up. So first off, we have the number five. So E is number five. So have we got a number five in our gems? Let's have a look. We have got a number five. Where did I put my tray? I've put my tray under all those crystals. Oh. Silly me, silly me. So let me grab my scissors. We might as well put all of them away together. Okay. If I'd have thought on, I could have just put all these uh, into the one bag, couldn't I? But I decided not to open the bags. When I'm diamond painting, the least amount of gems that are floating about is usually the best. Okay, so I'll just get those out into there. And we might as well put all of them into the tray together. Okay, put those into there like that. Oops, one escaped. You're not going anywhere. You are going into this bag. Okay, so that's number five done. Getting a nice little stash of those now. Okay, so then we want uh, F is 10. So we want a number 10. Again, let's put these into this tray. Okay. Oh, look at this colour. Hot pink. Oh, dear. All right, so we've got our lovely hot pink. And we need number 10. So, come in number 10. There it is. Okay quite a few of these I have been doing craft buddy cards for a long time uh, 2017 2018 I think was the first time I bought uh, crystal cards and started sort of diamond painting uh, well crystal painting anyway with cards and uh, yes yeah, so it's been a while but originally I just used to put all my gems in together all my special gems and then I started putting them all into separate ones and now I've started putting them all into number order. So some of these at this side will actually be uh, Craft Buddy Crystal Art Gems um, but because at the time that I was doing this I wasn't putting any numbers on and wasn't sort of cataloguing them as it were then uh, they're not all matched up. I have been through all the little resin, all the little crystal gems and sorted them out. So they are um, all here now. But it's just this side that as I go along, any special shapes that I get, I need to check this side um, to see what I've got. Right, so what number do we need now? 10, oh, number 11. <laughs> oh, and we don't have a number 11. So that's another new one. Goodness me. Okay. So let me grab my trusty Scotty pen. And we want a 011. One. Not a 111. One, one. Mr. Jones isn't still ill. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that is a brilliant joke. Well, I don't know whether it's true or whether it is actually just a joke, but I just really made me laugh. Okay, number 15. All right, this nice, very rich goldy colour. Okay. Oh, they don't want to come out of there. I should take these little things out. That's the only thing that get a bit of a nuisance and they tend to grab the drills and don't want to let go of them. Come on out. 
that's it. And if you buy these separate craft kits uh, or card kits, you do find that you'll get about 20 little grip seal bags um, in with your uh, card. So if you do want to do this system whereby you open the little packets and uh, just cut the fronts off, then you do get the little grip seal bags with them. Um, I've had people say that they just put them into like, uh, put them on the table, just sellotape them up or whatever, and just work from these little like snake packets as I call them. Um, but I tend to find I need them a bit more secure because I tend to knock things. I know, I think it's Mindy, Mindy's down a moment. She puts them all into a cup, which is quite a good idea. So these little packets, once they're open, are all stood up in a cup and it's harder to knock a cup over, which, uh, yeah, another brilliant idea. But I do, as I say, like to uh, just keep mine secure. <laughs> okay, get those out of that little packet there. I suppose I just could cut the number rather than cutting half the packet but uh, yeah maybe i'll do that next time <laughs> i think as you're doing things and the more that you do things you tend to find ways that suit yourself best you know like with all diamond painting and um, you can watch or with anything really you can watch other people doing it watch tutorials and then you think yeah i'll do it their way for starters and then you start thinking no i don't like doing it that way so I'm going to do it my way. And then you just gradually start doing it um, how you want to do it and find your own little methods and what works best for you. And that's what you need to do. Don't, you know, just do what somebody else does. Find how you like doing it, what's most comfortable for you. Uh, it is a hobby after all. Uh, so you do want to be doing it uh, so it's enjoyable as well. You don't want to be stressing out thinking, oh, I aren't doing this right. You know, there isn't really any right or wrong way of doing it. Um, and some people may find this way of storing the gems just really, really over the top. And sometimes I look at it myself and think, the amount of time I'm spending putting all these gems away, is it really worth it? Uh, but it is for me. I do need to have things organised. I get a bit OCD about it. Um, and I can't be doing with things faffing around and... I certainly couldn't throw them away. Um, there's something that's just not in my nature. I try and keep everything. Uh, all right, so we've got another new one. So this is 100. Okay. So there was quite a few different ones in this one. Okay. So that's number 100 there. Now that's an strange why have i got a label with 100 there oh it's come off this bag <laughs> oh dear if i had a brain i'd be dangerous what can i say yeah i thought oh i must have already done a 100 bag look there's a 100 stuck on the desk and it's come off this bag oh dear me i don't know talk about making youtube videos and saying yeah this is how I do it, and uh, yeah, please don't do it how I do it. <laughs> oh dear, right, which was K, that's L, so this is K. Make sure I get these the right way around. So we now have 102 and 103. So 101, 102, 103. So we have got both of these, so that makes life a little bit easier. Okay, get those into there. All right. And, oh, we've got two 103s. Okay, I think sometimes I come across where they've put the same number on um, some of the gems. So I just tend to do a separate bag and keep it separate. And then obviously if I get like this is 103, so possibly that one was a mistake. But I'll leave it there for now anyway. Um possible we'll come across some more it's not like taking an exam nobody's going to come and start testing me on the colors well i hope not anyway <laughs> i wouldn't pass <laughs> okay come on then little gems out you come right so that's a hundred and three okay so that's another one bites the dust and then what I'm going to do 
this i do keep these although i don't really need to keep them because i have got them on that sheet so i'm just going to keep this card in the back with these on i'm going to put that into the back there so that i've got those together okay get that into the recycling um i tend to because craft buddy do a catalogue i tend to actually take the pictures of the um cards out of the catalogue and i do keep a picture of each card and the gem numbers in a little log book uh, yes i have started logging cards as well as all my canvases again another labor of love but i'm just finding that i'm a lot more settled if i've actually got everything organized <laughs> in hope or you could use uh, the little pictures from here you could cut out these little pictures just to go in a log book or whatever you're using uh, that is the eight of the disney ones that came out this time last year i think as well and yes i have done all of those eight <laughs> some of them more than once okay so i'll put that one in there as well and then we have our lovely flowery unicorn. She's got uh, all her colours. Okay, let's see what we've got in this one. And where's this packet? So we are down to five, two hundred, and then we've got one, two, three gems and a special shape. So we want one. Oh, look at these colours. So pretty two three of the gem colors and then that's your little teardrop so all the rest are just your resin gems so i'll pop those back into there so i don't lose them i do want to be putting those away and we'll put the card back into the bag okay, put that in there it's not wanting to go in and let's have a look at this one. This has got a lot of colours. This had 15 different uh, colours and then the specials at the end. So we want number one, which is our very sparkly clears. So back to the little round ones at the front here. And oops, filling up nicely this one, number one. Okay. I have been keeping my craft buddy ones separate uh, in this bag and then the ones from all the other kits that I do I have got a jar that I'm gradually filling up with my little homemade Scotty dog sticker and heart sticker there that I just did uh, using double-sided uh, adhesive and putting them on over a pattern uh, I'll maybe try doing that again on camera Um I did it when I uh, did my glow in the dark ceiling glow in the dark crystals to see if they did still glow in the dark and yes they do so you can seal and glow in the dark crystals okay that's one of uh, the earlier videos that i did one of the first ones gosh i can't believe it's been about 18 months since i've been doing youtube but it'll be two years in december so we are just at the 18 month mark my goodness Right, and this one is N is number, oh no, we want M next. It's N. That's, that's M, so M is number 13. 13, have I got a 13? No, we haven't got a 13. Oh, getting lots of new numbers today. Okay, so a 1, 13 there. Okay, I just had a, a brain freeze then and thought, oh no, what are these gems from? But they're from the unicorn at the beginning, aren't they? <laughs> oh dear, I tell you, I've got so much going on in my head at the moment. Um, I just uh, need to clear all my cupboards and things out again and get them all cleaned. Uh, the spring clean just didn't happen with everything that was going on with hubby and all his hospital stays and visits and things. And uh, so, yeah, I've got loads of stuff to clean out and all my kitchen cupboards need cleaning. And I just think, oh, uh, that'll get done another day. That's what I keep saying, though, and I'll probably end up, it'll be blinking spring cleaning next year instead of this year. 
but it's sort of like it hangs in the back of my mind and I think I must get that done it haunts me right so that's 85 so we've not got an 82 either so we need a 82 heck definitely getting lots of nice new crystals okay and these are like a real pale silvery blue color but when they went onto the unicorn they look white uh, it's like the old soap powder adverts when they used to do the white shirts and they used to say this is the before and this is the after and uh, they actually used to cheat and use um, a real light pale blue colour to make it look more white on the screen on the camera. So, they're not allowed to do things like that anymore. <laughs> oh dear, right, so get them stood up properly. Now then, this one is a teardrop and for whatever reason they've started teardrops with an S. Uh, the marquees start with an M, they're an M letter but teardrops are an S. So we want an S120, so I need to look, that's G, S. So let's have a look in the S's and see if we have a 120. We've got a nine, we've got a 50. They actually look like those. But we haven't got a 120. See, they called that one an SD09. Um, I think they're the same. So I'm going to put an S120 onto that one. So it's an S120. And rename it and put those all together. Okay. Now, because I have got um, these gems in this side, I know there isn't any at that side, so I don't need to check that side. Yes, I have a very complicated system. I do sometimes think I make things harder than I should do. <laughs> oh dear, it takes me back to my days when I was little and I used to play post offices. Um, my mum used to run a catalogue. We used to get those great big catalogues and uh, you'd look through and make your Christmas list out of the catalogues way before days of Argos. And uh, when my mum had finished, uh, or she stopped doing one catalogue or brought out new paperwork, I could never wait to get my hands on like the carbon paper with the little booklets and things um, that you wrote the orders down in. Because in those days you used to have to send the order off. You used to have to write it out. There was no internet and uh, you didn't phone up. It was far too expensive to phone up. So they used to send you an envelope, a uh, prepaid envelope. And you used to uh, put your orders in these little envelopes and send them off. And you'd have like a little book to write your order out in. I could never wait to get my hands on that little book so that I could write orders out and things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Fun and games. Right, so that's the ones that are carded. All done. Oops, sorry, just knocking the camera. So now let's have a look at Butterfly. And the Butterfly is on this one. And I think we decided it was B1, which is there. So that's that little key code there. And let me just put, take these gems out of here and put Butterfly back in his little packet so it doesn't get dirty. Okay. And what did we have here then? So we've got, uh, 310 down to 5200 we've got two ABs and an M which is a marquee so we're looking for three specials in this one okay so if I, now I've sealed this packet so I should be able to get into it right so that's the one two ABs and where's the specials Done with the marquees. Where have they gone? Ah, there they are. Oh, yes, it's the bu butterfly's body look a great big, long, thin marquee. Okay, put those back into there for now and put those in there. Okay, so we'll do the marquees first because I have my um, ABs in a drawer. 
Right, so it's M062 and we should have some of these because I have done this card before and I do believe I sent it to the lovely Chris. And ooh, let's have a look. There they are. Okay. So yeah, number 62. Look how many I've got. Oh, I must have done more than one card. Or oh, there's been a different card with these in. Because there's an awful lot of spares there. But yeah, if you want to make up your own butterflies using your spare uh, gems, your spare drills, then uh, these are great for butterfly bodies because they're lovely long and thin and you get a nice size butterfly from that as well. Okay, so let's put all these M's back away. Got all those lovely colours. That's my favourite one. Look at that. It's all glittery. A glittery marquee. Well, wow. Okay. Where's the M card gone? M, M, M is there. Okay, so now I need my <clears throat> art dot drawers that have my A, Bs in. Now then, they have uh, 307 and 5. So let's see, have we got a 307? Yes, we have. So the actual numbers that they're putting on their A, Bs are actually the a b um the a b the dmc number the a b number the brain went then sorry they are actually the dmc number so this is a b 307 why did i put my traits there it's because it's clear i can't blooming see it <laughs> maybe i shouldn't film in the morning but i just thought if i uh, do my video first thing this morning then it'll be just that little bit cooler because uh, it does get very very warm in this little room probably because i've got far too much stuff in it as well so it's holding the heat uh, even millie our little scotty hasn't come to join me this morning because it's so hot in here already right so that's 307 and then we know what the white one is we've got lots of white let's put four lots of white ab's goodness me but i do use these a lot as well i might even have to start another tub i do need to donate some of these because I, I, I can't think what i'm going to do in there maybe if i do a ginormous snow scene or a ginormous uh, snowman all in ab's let me put them into here. They're all wanting to escape. They've got a little bit staticky being in that plastic bag. I've uh, protested about being in a plastic bag. I'll put them there. I won't tip them over the drawers because they're all going to go everywhere. Right, lid. There it is. <laughs> my eyes haven't come round yet from waking up. <laughs> so that's my lovely set. Don't they look great? I love them in these drawers. I'm so pleased I got these drawers. Right, so that's that one done. So we don't need that one anymore. So now we've just got our two superheroes to do. Okay, so we have first is Hulk, which I don't think Hulk had any special drills. Uh, no, he's just normal resin drills there. So we don't need to do anything with Hulk. So he can go on the pile. Maybe that's why he looks so angry because we didn't give him any specials. Either that or he wants his breakfast. It is, uh, as I say, quite early this morning. <laughs> and then we've got Thor. So what's Thor got? Let's have a look at Thor. And Thor, oh, just has the one gem, which is the number one, which is the silvers. So he's a nice quick and easy one to do as well. Hooray, was the cry. Imagine if I put all the resin gems away as well. I'll be here till next week. <laughs> I think it's worth it. It's worth it for me. Because you have to do what fits in for you and is best for you. Right, so we oh, just want number one back out again. Okay, this bag's getting very full now. Once this bag gets full, I will start putting the crystals into my jar. And then I will find something that wants to be full crystal. Okay. number one so they're all done now I put my scissors and my tray away and my pen so i know where it is i put my stickers away 
try and keep tidy, put things back where they need to be. They want to go into my charity box. That's my specials that can all go away now until I get the next lot to do. And then that's all my cards. So, I hope you're still with me. I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at these with me. Uh, if you have, a thumbs up's always much appreciated. Just lets me know um, that you've enjoyed watching this with me and it gives me that little bit of a boost with YouTube. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and don't forget to enter that giveaway please subscribe because you do really need to be a subscriber to join the giveaway um but i know a lot of people have their accounts private so maybe you can't quite tell um but yeah please subscribe it just helps me out um and it just means then that my videos go a little bit further than they do at the moment okay well as i say if you don't want to see any more videos from me if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell that pops up you will be notified when my videos come out so thank you ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.